So here are the top five plastic surgery procedures for women. We have a very specific list here. Let's look at this and see exactly how it's, how it's going these days and what is rising, if you will. The top five for women, breast augmentation, liposuction, breast lift, tummy tuck, eyelid surgery. Anything you see that is on the rise here, anything that there's more of in, in recent years? Well, breast augmentation and liposuction pretty consistently are the most common cosmetic surgeries performed and they are year after year and sometimes liposuction the numbers are a little bit higher than breast augmentation they go back and forth uh, liposuction also is one of the most common procedures among men uh, and then the, with those other procedures again there there are annual variations and there are trends you know with a fat transfer those those procedures have been trending the uh, eyelid surgeries have been trending breast lifts have become a little more uh, accepted by women these days i think um, like we talked about before just the the uh, abundance of information that is available to people these days. I think women are realizing that they can achieve the improvement in shape of the breast that they're looking for and they're more accepting of the scarring. I think uh, breast uh, lift procedures have sort of uh, had an image uh, in, in the public's mind that uh, it leaves disfiguring scarring. It does not necessarily leave uh, you know, scarring that is not acceptable and it does significantly improve the shape of the breast. And men are now undergoing procedures more than ever before, it seems. So let's look at the top five cosmetic procedures for men. And at the top of that is close to what it was for women as well. Liposuction, eyelid surgery, male breast reduction, tummy tuck, and facelift. Again, same question. Out of these five, which one have you seen a rise in for men? Uh, well, facelift procedures have uh, increased significantly in numbers in, in most recent years. Uh, that's a little counterintuitive. Some people, they think uh, with all of the non-surgical procedures available, uh, people are doing more and more of those. But I think, again, uh, facelift surgery has become more acceptable. Uh, people are understanding more what's involved and, and are more aware of the advantages that they can uh, achieve uh, having that type of procedure. So, again, usually it's, it's uh, patients who are wanting to feel better about their appearance. And uh, very often with the facelift procedure, they can, they can achieve that.